apprentice. I see you've landed on Nar Shaddaa. It is, I'm afraid, the armpit of the galaxy. Must be your kind of place, Barris. In my youth, perhaps. Nar Shaddaa is a planet of frivolity and distraction. Gambling, spice, rampant black market and gang territory disputes. But you are there to eliminate my spy, Agent Delicon. Normally it would be a trifling task, but Delicon has acquired a powerful ally. Surely this person wouldn't dream of defying you. He seems to relish it. Agent Delicon's new benefactor is a young Sith Lord named Rothari, an upstart who openly disrespects my methods. Rathari prefers a more blunt approach. The Dark Council has granted him dominion over Sith interests on Nar Shaddaa. What possessed the Council to do such a thing? Rathari has been effective at ingratiating himself to the Council. Agent Delicon knows much about my organization. I cannot have Rathari in possession of such a resource. Burn Rathari to the ground. Destroy everything he's working for. And kill Agent Delicon. I see you're not adverse to overkill. This kind of defiance cannot be tolerated. Haladrel Setson runs my slave operation on Nar Shaddaa. She has been a valued operative for many years. She is ready to receive you and can fill you in on Rathari's movements and interests. That is all. Talk me all day, darling. The exchange is moving in on this operation of yours. No amount of sugar gonna change that. Believe me, you're going to prefer the sugar to the spice. Take one step closer and there'll be two dozen Sith surrounding you. Two dozen? That's a dead giveaway, darling. You got none. One is all she's going to need. See? Not so smug now, are you, Captain? So you do got a Sith up your sleeve. Well, we've been trained to take out Sith. Time to flex our muscles. I've suffered you long enough. Kill the Sith. If I die, I'm going to haunt you. You have a flair for dramatic entrances. I probably could have handled that, but uh, I'm grateful for your timing. You're the apprentice Darth Barris prep for me, yes? You've figured it out. The obvious is my specialty. That's why I keep petitioning the Darth for a raise. Halidrell sets in. So you're here to take out Lord Rathari. Won't be easy. He usually just appears, devastates, then disappears. You'll have to draw him out. He's been making some major power plays, and disrupting them will get his attention. Sounds like a plan. Barris trusts me for a reason. First, Rathari's been strong-arming the Hutt cartel. From what I hear, they're close to signing over some important territories to him. He and his apprentice Girik are in conference with the Huts at Cartel Headquarters. If you burst in... Rathari would be none too pleased. Neither would the Huts. The Cartel is an Imperial ally. Rathari can't just beat on them. He has to play diplomat. Unfortunately, the same applies for you. If things turn violent between you and the Huts, better if there's no one left to identify you. I'll do my best to keep the peace with our allies. The other possibility won't carry as many restraints. I've got a shipment of slaves to send out, but I'll be here if you need me. Good luck, my lord. Be wise to bend to the great Lord Rathari's will. Sign over the specified territories before he loses his patience. <laughs> I knew huts were spineless, but who knew they were gutless, too? I'll tell you who this is. This is the apprentice of an over-the-hill Sith named Darth Barras. Yes, that's right. My master and I anticipated your arrival. Where is your master, Worm? I am Lord Rathari's proxy in dealing with the cartel, and I will be his sword arm dealing with you. I have no quarrel with you, but Rathari must die. 
Te tropa kuma ni umpe boda malia bedwa na ni bobo. Kuchuso yo mata chitoya nakma noyo chaski nawi. I seek to relieve the cartel of the burden of Rathari's intrusions. Maguta Polko chopping Wampala Hagwa Kila Jikoska. Cha Porko Udmangisa Mitisa Roda Gopara. Tartanin Chista Luka Ubaziki Tanti Ruha. Borwe ni Naka Kisonrefe Opa Utaguta. You act as if you don't know how easily I could kill you. Mana mana, you eda iki, tukuluko charatrodo. Uda goda dan gue goda, pan guidag bama. You talk big for someone so obviously small. Bona naikachu, ne tuto boga. Then ruling Jihola Kutas Nemo. Fine, I'll unburden us of this intruder, but then you'd better sign on the dotted line. If I die, I'm going to haunt you. <sighs> Impossible. Lord Rathari will still be you and your master's downfall. Find some self-respect, worm. Yes, that is exactly what I intend to do. I die by my own hand, not yours. Yinga yinga kichita, nini tanu alayu kewe kuta. Oh, wala manga, tuske yu wala wa, tablota wicha wa. Pray I don't decide to come back and kill you too. Bumicha kulka dumaji ta usa zalas uval. Yinga yinga kichita nini tanu alayu kewe kuta. Word spread through the streets that Rathari's conference with the huts was invaded and his apprentice killed. Seems like you missed your calling as a diplomat. The huts are in a holding pattern to see what comes of your challenge. It's too bad Rathari wasn't in attendance. But man, I bet he's fuming. I'm sure our message was heard loud and clear. Rathari is also on the verge of taking over the Republic's base of operations in the upper industrial sites. With his work with the cartel dashed, he's sure to pour himself into squashing the Republic garrison. I'll keep banging down doors until I find him. Tenacity is a prerequisite for Sith, I think. Even if Rathari isn't there, when his operations are all thwarted, I know he'll come to you. A confrontation will be inevitable. Men, fall back! Rally here! My lord, what is the meaning of this? We are on the verge of striking a major blow to the Republic. I am General Clickton, commanding on the authority of Sith Lord Rathari, appointed to Nar Shaddaa by the Dark Council. Why do you attack the Empire's men? If Rathari shows himself, no one else will suffer. He is attending to other matters. You belong to Darth Barras. I was given instructions to destroy you if you were foolish enough to show your face here. You'd be wise to ignore those instructions. No, I think not. You are surrounded. And we far outnumber you. Full attack! The Sith strength has been spent obliterating our enemy. We should strike while there's a chance. After that display, Weglin, I believe fighting should be our last resort. Stay back and cover me. Sith! I am Commander Nolan. I'm in charge of this defensive. I'm unarmed. You risk March approaching me weaponless. I doubt that a blaster would save me. 
We do not wish a fight, but we also cannot relinquish this area. What are your terms? You live only by my good grace. I may have need of you someday, and you will repay my mercy. Very well. If your mission does not conflict with Republic interests, I pledge to help you. Here is my hollow frequency. I will answer your call. You have my word. Until we meet again, Sith. Men, the battle is ended. Attend to the wounded. My lord, my base! My base is under attack! The last of my men and I are holed up in the command center! But the doors are about to give! I'll be right there, Halidrell. Try to hold on. Do the best I can! But I... I've got a bad feeling about this! Ah! The command center's been breached! I've never seen such power. Oh no. It's clear Darth Barris failed to inform you exactly who you'd be crossing. This demonstration should make up for that deficiency. You want Agent Delicon. You want me. I won't be hard to find anymore. I'm on the roof of the satellite platform in network access. If you dare show, I will grant you a duel to the death. Be honored. <laughs> He's a moron if he thinks we're going to walk into such an obvious ambush. Right? Commander Narland and his men owe me their lives. Hail him. I want to collect. Oh, goody. I get to play secretary. Here you go. I had a feeling you'd call, Sith. Can't say I'm looking forward to this. I'm about to give you the opportunity for glory few have seen. The destruction of a Sith Lord. That's unexpected. You've definitely piqued my interest. The soldier pays his debts. Tell me what must be done. Lord Rathari, I presume. Finally, we come face to face. Ah, you showed. You lack your master's caution. I applaud that. Delacon. Barris's lackey is here. So, say your piece, and do it before I kill this would-be assassin. Barris is insane and paranoid. I was a faithful servant, and my cover was intact. Did he expect me to accept being murdered for reassurance? Just wait for death? Come, speak with Barris. Perhaps he'll listen to reason. Do you think I'm stupid? Not a chance. Delicon and everything he knows of your master's operations are mine now. In a hundred years, when I am legendary within the Sith, your and Barris's deaths at my hands will not even be a footnote. However, I would never lower myself to duel a mere apprentice such as you. You haven't earned the honor. I marked you as a coward the moment I saw you. Ha! You cannot goad me into it, Worm. These men are my elite guard, trained to take on Sith. Half of them could kill you, but I don't like to play favorites. In that case, I'll destroy them all. Now, men! Attack! So, you brought your own army to the fight. Even better. Kill everyone! I yield. Never have I witnessed such raw power. The day and the planet are yours. I freely pass the scepter. 
The threat Delacon posed to you and your master has died with him. I hope it ingratiates me in some way. I was looking forward to doing that myself. You are above such trifling tasks. Let others like myself do such deeds for you. It's clear to me now. Someday you will rise above your master. It is you, not I, who will be Darth Barriss's end. Grant me mercy, so I may live to see it. Honor me with some small hand in it. I make you my minion to be called into service when I see fit. Yes. I shall wait with patience for your summons. I leave you to your business, my lord. Remember, I am at your disposal, whenever you may seek to topple Barras. I may call on you, I may not. I will live out my days, hoping for the chance. All right, Sith. Now no one's left but you and me and my men. Your objective has been met. May we go. You have served me well, Commander. Leave in peace. All right, men. You heard the Sith. Let's get back to our neck of the woods. <sighs> Glad this is finally over. Maybe we can go back to the ship and get off this rock, huh? Lord Barris will be expecting an update. Well, say hi to him for me. I just can't wait to get back to my quarters and grab some shut-eye. You have done well, my apprentice. Delicon eliminated and Lord Rathari dispelled. This will be a day long remembered. The loss of Haladrel Sitson is unfortunate, but the ends far justify the means. She served you honorably, Master. I had a soft spot for her as well. You have successfully eliminated both of my compromised agents. The time has come to set our sights on Noman Carr and his gifted Padawan. It seems our adversary is of like mind. Your efforts have not gone unnoticed. Noman Carr has been busy. Stop being so cryptic and tell me what happened. Use that tone sparingly with me, apprentice. Consider this a warning. It appears your ship is being tracked. A very sophisticated sensor is reporting your every movement. I've traced the signal to a spaceport in a sector not far from you. I'm sure Noman Carr is involved. Sounds to me like you're being paranoid. I do not appreciate your doubt. I expect unwavering respect at all times. Consider yourself warned. I've sent the coordinates to your mainframe. Head there immediately, dock with the station, and make a lasting impression. What does family mean to you? I mean, does it have to be the people you're actually related to? When you're close to people, they become family. Sometimes, whether you want them to or not. Cute. I'm going to take that as a compliment. When I was working for Noctrayan, doing the pirate thief thing, he had a daughter my age. Risha. It wasn't like Nock was super sweet to her or anything. But he'd call her princess, and I wished I was her. Having someone your own age could be great or terrible, depending. It was great. Always great. Risha was smart and strong. She knew how to do everything around the ship. And I went everywhere with her. Suddenly I had a sister again. For years, it was Risha and me against the galaxy and anyone who gave us grief. Memories of the best times in life are treasures later in life. Who are you and what did you do with the Sith I know? Eventually, Nock hatched some secret plan that I couldn't be a part of. One that apparently got them both killed. But for a while there, I really was happy. <sighs> Enough of that. My lord, I have been working on something in my spare time. You may be interested. Your duties should keep you eternally busy. My responsibilities to you are always handled first. Years ago, I was zeroing in on a notorious SIS agent called Voleran, when Moff Broisk recalled me to the Battle of Druckenwell. I had the spy cornered. I briefed Broisk so that he could send someone else to take Voleran out. 
he ignored the opportunity. This sounds like a personal vendetta. I'll admit, knowing how close I was to ending his career made languishing on Balmoro all the more frustrating. But I take this on only for the good of the Empire. This spy has caused immeasurable losses. I know Voleran's signature. And by tracking his accomplishments, I've picked up his scent. It is imperative that you track him down. Very good, my lord. I'll keep you abreast of my progress. You're good to go. What seems to be the trouble, Hirosho? Tell me why you're so concerned. Master Carr, you promised we would be undetected, but the ship we've been tracking for you is here. Calm your fear, Hirosho. It will not serve you. I will speak with your visitor when the time comes. The time is upon you. I'm here. Say your piece. Ah, uh, okay. You never told me we'd be tracking a Sith. You were provided the details necessary to perform your duties. Now please, remain quiet. Sith, I presume you are Darth Barriss' new apprentice. I am Jedi Master Norman Carr. Do you know me? You're my master's sworn enemy. Barriss and I like to keep tabs on each other, so when I heard of a new apprentice, I investigated. These men were merely monitoring the equipment, following orders. There's no need for bloodshed here. My quarrel is with you, Jedi. These men need not suffer. Your temperance is remarkable. Hirosho, please leave with your men immediately. Thank you. Thank you, Master Carr. And you as well, Sith. Don't mention it. Now that they're safe, I'll speak plainly. I know Barris has spies, and I know you were sent to extract two of them before they could be exposed. But I'll soon have the proof I need. Barris' spies can't hide for long. Call off your vendetta and I'll spare your life. Jedi do not succumb to vendettas. That is for your kind. Forgive the earlier deception, Sith. But now that Hirosho and his men have escaped harm, I must neutralize you immediately. These troopers are among the Republic's finest. Surrender, and the Jedi Council will be lenient. I find that preposterous. Then you leave me no choice. Men, take the Sith in, by any means necessary. Seems Darth Barris has found himself a singularly vicious weapon in you. This experience has given me valuable insight. I'll be prepared for you next time, Sith. I'll wait right here, Carr. Come and face me now. Jedi do not seek out a fight. Until we meet again. Apprentice, now that Noman Carr realizes that we seek his Padawan, there's no time to waste. He claimed the girl on her home planet of Alderaan, and she trained on Tatooine. I have agents on both planets digging up leads. Find the people who know this girl. Someone means enough to her to make her come out of hiding. I will obliterate everything she knows. I am confident this is how we will prevail. The Padawan's training is incomplete. She is susceptible. The anguish you cause will flush her out, and you will kill her and her master. Perhaps the Padawan can be turned. Her power would be a great asset, yes. Put through enough torment, she may reveal her base nature. But we must be cautious. 
The danger she represents is extreme. As long as she lives, she is a threat. Seduction to the dark side should be left to masters. If there is even a sliver of doubt in your heart, it can backfire. I don't appreciate your condescension. Don't be so bruisable, apprentice. It's the mark of insecurity. You have yet to face a Jedi Master. The righteousness and passionless demeanor is nauseating. And Noman Carr is no ordinary master. Confronting him, you will find profound fortitude and hate. Or you will falter. It will be an interesting experience. Be sure your results are of interest to me. Be off, then. Tatooine and Alderaan await. Discover this Padawan's identity and destroy her. <laughs>